this is Maria Drushkova. We are going to speak about the upcoming problem solving course. Please introduce yourself. I am Suzanne Demars Canavari. Suzanne, so uh, you um, you are going to be working with your kids, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, any friends or just your kids? Um. Well, for so for the month of July, um, the first half of July, it'll just be my kids. Um, maybe maybe a couple of friends, but in the second half of July, we'll be visiting some family. So, um, um, so my kids have four cousins who are kind of a variety of ages. So, um, I'd like to involve them too, if possible. Okay, how wonderful! Maybe grown-ups will advise or help. Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, family. So, uh, Suzanne, here is a serious question. Okay. Tough question. <laughs> what are your dreams for your children about mathematics? Okay, I'm talking about um, I, I just hope that they're always... Um, excited about it and kind of willing to explore and um, I hope that they'll have some confidence in their um, in, in their competence to be able to um, try things and, and persevere so you know to learn the um, the important um, I guess skills in doing mathematics that will help them to realize the beauty beauty of it and to be able to kind of discover what's beautiful about it for them. So you name several things. I'll ask about them one by one. Okay. So, <laughs> beauty, it's a big question. <laughs> it's a complex question. Okay. So of course there are several things, aspects. Um, so you say excitement of it. What what excites people there? What do you think excites your kids? What excites you? Oh, um, I think they're they're, they're excited about uh, everything. I mean, their their ages three, five, and seven. So it's it's just a really, I mean, they they really are excited about almost it about almost everything. So I, I want them to, you know, to, to feel and to be able to carry that excitement, you know, especially with, um, with mathematics. Um, so, and, and, yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. I'll remember what I have to say. Oh, okay. Um, and, and for me, I, I, um, I kind of discovered just the, the, the joy of it, um, more more recently, I, I started, I mean, my background in undergraduate after high school was um, engineering and kind of worked in the software development for a while. And then I started um, teaching just as a kind of a change of, of, of career path and something that had always interested me. And so it was while teaching that I really um, enjoyed kind of just the... Uh, Kind of working on on you know challenging problems and and kind of the the more not just the utilitarian aspects of math but also just kind of the explore exploration of it the process um so you yeah. found exploration and beauty through teaching yes. yeah 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 absolutely is it when you found the beauty when you try to show the beauty to other people or were you just exploring for yourself in preparation for your teaching or maybe both? Yeah, a mixture of both. Um, and also I participated in this um, program through the university. I was in San Francisco at the time and it was, uh, it was a group of uh, math grad students and high school high school teachers oh, and an undergrad. Um, no, it was the real uh, revitalizing algebra program. Um, 
lunch with Diane Rezik. And anyway, we so we spent time, um, you know, every so often just just doing math and working on problems. And I, I really enjoyed that. And, uh, so kind of like a mass circle for grown-ups, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Problem exactly. solving for grown-ups. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, I hope we'll have a little bit of this here. Maybe discussing sure. problems with other people. Maybe you can ha- have a little bit of that with your relatives when you get there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And my, my husband will be, he's always been willing to, to, to do to work on it too. So. Okay. Um, so um, how can we, I wonder, maybe we can invite kids to go into that sort of excitement, huh? Mm-hmm. Do your kids like to teach? Um, they do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I see them trying to Help one to another? Teach. Yeah, exactly. So um, one, one thing that I thought we could try is for them to maybe uh, redesign the problems for other kids or oh. explain how they would do it with other kids. So I don't know how to capture that uh, with young ones, but maybe stories, maybe you can record them or you can take yeah. notes from them, give them a camera, have them explain that. What do you think? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I like the, I like the idea. I guess I hadn't, I hadn't thought about how to, how to get them to do that same sort of thing. So it'll be worth, it'll be worth trying. I, <laughs> they do. They do love the camera. So, <laughs> kids like the camera and seeing themselves, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, you talk about beauty of it and how, and the kids are still excited about everything. But you said, especially math, you kind of separated. Is it special? Is it different? <laughs> oh. Um... I, I don't know that it's oh for them I don't know I don't think that it's different yet it's just you know it's just it uh, may become different for people yeah yeah what or happens? oh um where does that excitement about it disappear I <laughs> um in in schools largely you know I think with the I, I think I mean, I've read through um, um, your book as as well, and I, I agree with just the the focus on skills and and um, sort of kind of losing the the big picture sometimes, you know, as they kind of go through the school system. So you want what you want to prevent it, so. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> So we'll see. So let us, uh, when we, we will work all on the same problem. So uh, maybe you can uh, kind of keep this focus on, okay, as we do this, where is the beauty of it, the excitement, the interest, and what keeps it and what doesn't. Yeah. A little bit of an observation because you can change. I mean, you have all the power to mm-hmm. change things just as needed for your kids right 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 so uh, how, uh this this is what it very interests me too how have you changed it what worked what ha- what didn't work so, right. so the excitement is there the beauty okay beauty is an interesting thing what do you find beautiful in math um um I find the the kind of um, just the elegance of it, I guess. Um, you know, when things work out. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it, it's like magic sometimes, almost. It's breathtaking. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, I yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> I think kids have a keen sense of it too. They can't always follow well, long calculations, for example, to 
to where the beauty is, but they can experience that feeling of elegance. I think mm-hmm. they can even pretty early. I think even mm-hmm. your three-year-old can. I think so. <laughs> yeah, that that'll be. <laughs> 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 we have, Interesting to try. <laughs> we have some pretty young members of this course, well, family members. So some right. people will try it with young kids, see what happens. Yeah. Interesting yeah. to see. Definitely. Okay. So uh, watch for all these dream aspects and see, see if they work, if they come in or how you can make them come in. That's. I would be very interested in your stories about it. Great, great. Yeah, I'll definitely share them. So yes. I'm excited. So um, now this where my in, uh, interest, my question. What would you like to talk about or ask? Um, oh, um, I... I um, I guess I, I didn't come with any you know, specific questions. I just kind of want to experience experience it, let my kids experience it. So um, logistics, I'll, I'll find all that on the, the website, I'm sure. So um, I guess just kind of what um, what what drives you to kind of offer this this type of activity in this format. This is interesting because um, I really enjoy doing this and wonder why. <laughs> what, what is? <laughs> but it's it's deeply meaningful to me. Yeah. Uh, what we are trying to do is uh, three things. So we want to make books that are very useful for people, materials, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. will be books and also online materials. Now, mm-hmm. the only way to do that it is to make people participate somehow in the making of it, right? Yeah. To invite yeah. people to be very active because um, the process where you first make curriculum, then you te- test it, then you maybe remake it, but maybe you are married to it already. <laughs> right, right. It's a bit too remote. So we want very, we want this different experience of making things with people with people who use it good so good i really believe you know better what your kids need i really mm. do at the same time i know we all need help as parents as teachers we need support of other people like us mm-hmm. so that's what brings it together as a project so i really want this process to work where authors who put together a significant body of work, like James Stanton there with the problem solving. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have this community involvement where everybody comes and helps. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. So that's that's one part of it. And the second part is I'd like to collect data to do research of, in general, how people adapt things. So not just Mm -hmm. for this project we want uh, to make a book and we want it to be a good book right so for everybody well how do we adapt for beauty for example mm-hmm. so it's beautiful you know mm-hmm. you know it i know it how do our three-year-olds know it right so i know some things are very um, interesting and exciting to children why can we reproduce it you know can we take a problem make that problem exciting so mm-hmm. that's the second motivation because if you can hack that can, can yeah. you, can't you get uh, i mean a lot of power with mathematics and can, yeah. you can share this power with everybody so uh because we can't well you know we can't keep republishing the old curricula year in year out and reuse it it's uh, too slow it's not working well so something else needs to be done basically that's wonderful great. does it okay. make sense absolutely yeah no i i um thank you for sharing no, i think it sounds <laughs> sounds perfect it's great <laughs> so if you ever have any questions you know my skype and email mm-hmm. and uh you can ask questions of everybody because some questions are interesting to everybody or to a lot of people yes. uh, i will send instructions today with the newsletter 
So okay. uh, we'll, we'll have that uh, available. Please do that because people like it a lot. And mm -hmm. um, then we'll start planning the first week of July. And okay. uh, people will start doing things with kids the second week of July. So okay. I'll talk, great. To you, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.